Yeah, every, everything looks good on my end. Um, we basically are recording right now and then we can always um, cut, or, cut around whatever you like. So it's super flexible. Um, and then I'll uh, just want to grab those questions you put together real quick. You want to start with those? Yeah, maybe we'll just knock that out and then we have it be good. Then we'll have like the little five minute interview that I know the author wants and it'll just kind of be done. If we use it, we use it. If not, that's fine. But at least we kind of fulfill his request. And then we'll get to the good stuff of you actually talking through the art, which I think will be really cool. cool. Um, and then we'll we'll wrap, keep it all under like, you know, 20 minutes, hopefully. I did do the, um, on the questions I sent, um, there's a bit about the the artwork itself. I don't know if you want to use that. Um, um, yeah. uh, so the first one, it says, so Tom, please tell us how you started this painting and what James wanted to show. Do you want me to, do you want to go through that? The whole yeah, thing yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm pulling up that uh, script right now. I thought I'd drag this to my uh, desktop. No, yeah, you definitely did all that work. I'm gonna um, go ahead and grab that right now. I just put it on my desktop so I could uh, read it easy. Cool deal. All right. All right, so I'll go ahead and do um, a uh, quick uh, introduction um, and uh, then we'll jump right into the questions if that sounds good. Cool. Um, hey everybody, this is Daniel with Frontline Publishing. I'm here with Tom Edwards and Jamie Glover um, and we are very excited about this Kickstarter project and I have a couple of questions lined up for them. Um, Tom, uh, you wanna go ahead and, uh, and actually Jamie as well, you guys wanna just uh, share a little bit about um, your role in this project um, before we get into the questions? Yeah, so um, I'm Tom Edwards. I'm a cover designer. Um, I currently do science fiction and fantasy covers. Um, James um, asked me to work on this project with him. I've done a few covers um, before. Uh, I think we've done six together. Uh, and this is a way to... Um, oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, it's too late. We're live. We're live. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be better than me, mate. So don't worry. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't. I didn't prompt you on any of that stuff, too. So uh, I'll, I'll take it from the top. Yeah. I figured before I jump into these, it'd be nice if people actually knew who you guys were and how you were related to the project. You know, if you guys are, so you can kind of think about that response. And I'll, I'll start from the top. If that sounds good. Okay. So, sorry about that. No. 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 <laughs> Failure. No. I, I, I totally <laughs> just sprung that on you. It's supposed to be fun. You know, we're talking about your guys' uh, creativity. So um, I'll go ahead and I'll do my little cut here. Um, Hello, this is Daniel with Frontline Publishing. I'm here with Tom Edwards and Jamie Glover. Um, and we are so excited to tell you a little bit more about this unique Kickstarter project. Um, Tom, you wanna um, go ahead and tell them a little bit about what you're doing on this one? Hi, yeah, I'm Tom Edwards. I'm a cover designer and I've been working with James on the past six covers from his um, science fiction series. Uh, James asked me and, and Jamie to work on this book um, as a compilation of all the artwork um, from his series. So we'll be illustrating a lot of the chapters, uh, battle scenes, characters, that kind of thing. Um, so I thought it was a really good opportunity to, to show people what, what we can do and also give Jamie this, um, give James uh, a really good book full of his, his visions um, brought to life. That's, that's amazing. Um, and then Jamie, you want to share a little bit about your role and um, specifically what you'll be uh, working on? Sure. Yeah. I'm Jamie Glover. Um, I'm also working on the book alongside Tom. I do some freelance book cover design as well, um, but I focus more on the uh, like the spaceship and, and the tech designs. Uh, I tend to do more 3D models than, than sort of finished artworks as such. Uh, but in this one, I'm, I'm getting to do a lot of artworks as well, so it's going to be fun. Awesome. Well, we really genuinely appreciate you guys being involved. Uh, it's such a unique project, so um, we're going to dig into a couple questions if you guys have time for that. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, how'd you get into digital painting? Uh, so I, I grew up uh, drawing things like tractors and, and knights with my dad. Um, he's an architect, so I kind of grew up around that kind of creative uh, aspect. Um, and I got into, um, through through high school, I kind of stopped doing it in a way and then got back into it at college because I did a course in graphic design and they had a Wacom tablet, uh, which is what I used to paint on, uh, digitally with. Um, and then from there, really, it just kind of grew. My interest in the subject grew. Um, and I went to university and studied uh, video game artwork. Um, and then from there, I got a job in a games company for a few years. Um, and I've always been around kind of creative people. So it's, it's really helped me um, with my career, really. So 
Um, that's awesome. And how long have you actually been um, painting sci-fi and fantasy covers? Um, well, I, I started I started painting them when I was actually working at the video games company uh, on the side, um, and then uh, over time I got more and more uh, work through. Uh, so I decided to go full time, um, and I left my job in 2015, uh, Jack, about January time. So I've been doing covers for about six years, full time now. Wow, that's awesome. And how many um, total covers do you think you've done in that time? Um, I'd say it's probably in the region of about 700. Um, I don't, I keep track. Uh, 700? But, yeah. <laughs> that, that is amazing. Uh, uh, but that, that includes things like pre-made covers. So I do a lot of, a lot of those. I'm on series 10 now. So I release, tend to release one or two kind of sets a year. Uh, wow. So that's bumped bump the number up a bit, but yeah, it's that, quite a lot. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, obviously, if you're doing 700, you probably actually enjoy your job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but what, what do you actually enjoy most about um, kind of putting these things together? And um, So um, working, working with uh, talented authors like James, um, they're obviously really good at creating these worlds and putting pen to paper. Um, and it's more like my job to bring that vision uh, to life visually. Um, so it's really nice to be able to work with, with authors and, and, uh, use their, use their books as, as my kind of, uh, inspiration really. Um, and then I also enjoy, I work a lot with, with new and upcoming authors. Um, so I, I like giving those, um, a great cover to give them chance to kind of stand out in a, in quite a, a vast market, especially on Amazon. Yeah, no, we can really appreciate that. Um, so then what made you, if, if you don't mind me asking, what made you specifically want to work with um, James uh, on this particular uh, project? Yeah, and so um, I've, I've done, uh, like I said, six covers uh, with James so far. Um, and I know he's he's looking to do more um, with me and Jamie. Uh, Jamie's really good at the ship design and 3D modeling. And I do that kind of thing too, but um, it seems to work better for this project because... Uh, Jamie focuses a lot more on the details, whereas I'm more of a kind of, uh, I, I guess you could say the mood of the whole thing. Um, and then the the book's kind of a, a big summation of, of James James's vision um, of his science fiction universe. So um, hopefully with my experience, like the past six years, I'll be able to, to do something really, really cool. That's awesome. Um, and then let's maybe switch gears a little bit about the art. So um can you kind of walk us through uh, Halo Orbital Assault and um, kind of tell us how you started this painting and uh, what James wanted to show on that one? Yeah, so uh, James asked me to do, it's like a hero image for the project, kind of like a, a main image for the Kickstarter. Um, and it shows like a, an orbital drop onto a planet. Um, so I kind of wanted to show a hectic battle scene, but also kind of the calm before the storm feel. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really awesome. Um, is that something where, um, are you able to actually, uh, share your screen on that one or yeah. So let me, that, uh, that middle button, um, in green. And if not, then we can, um, we can toss up some images and, uh, edit around that. So if I move, oh yeah. Oh, that looks awesome. You see that? Yeah. I'm going to move us over there. So this is the rough, um, after James gave me the brief, this is kind of the rough I came up with. Um, wow, that so looks as you, can, <laughs> as you can see, it's, it's, it's very rough of a zoom in. It's really sketchy. I'm just trying to get the overall look and feel of the, of the piece. Uh, so I sent that through to James and he was happy. So from there, um, so I'll go through the layer, some of the layers I've done. Um, so we've got the backgrounds the first. That's the base of any image I do. I always do the background because I tend to use the light and information from that uh, to light the ships I do and what and, and Jamie's ships. Um, so from there, we've got some of the surface to air fire, um, more details down here. Uh, just just really rough. It, it looks very rough at this stage, um, but a lot of it gets covered over anyway as I as I go through. Uh, and then from here, so these are, this is like the, the background ships. So uh, Jamie modeled these um, and I, uh, I use a program called Keyshot. Um, so this is the scene. So this is, this is 3D um, and I just drew a, a rough texture on the ship. <laughs> That's awesome. And you mentioned uh, Jamie modeled that one? 
yeah, Jamie modeled all the ships uh, I've been using. There's a, there's a few background ships I threw in, um, but but that's Jamie's strong point, really. I, I mean, he's really good at the detail. There's so much detail in the ship. Um, that, on the covers. That, that's amazing. Real quick, Jamie, so how, how do you even make something like that? It's just like 3D modeling. As, as an outsider who's, you know, maybe thinking about kicking in on this Kickstarter and we want to support you, like literally, like, can you just take two seconds on like how you even start to do something like that? It's just so out of my wheelhouse that. Um... Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's usually usually starts with a brief. Um, so the like the client in this case, James, um, I'll say I want to, for instance, this one is is kind of a cruiser sized spaceship. Um, he was James is very good with these briefs, so he he kind of lets me know what armament he'd like on the ship, where he wants it to be. And a general kind of vibe. So this one's obviously made by humans. It's it's kind of got that boxy human feel. Um, it's got some weapons on it that are that are very similar to you know to what humans would use, and a flight bay. And we tried to give it a slight kind of I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but a slight kind of Battlestar Galactica vibe on this one. Um, just so it's it's got those nice shapes to it. Um, part of James's inspiration was also some some ships from a game called Eve Online so I, I tried to work a little bit of, a bit of that in um, but they all start with very basic shapes um, start from boxes uh, there are a couple of different programs I used to build them and it's it's just a case of adding detail and refining until they, they kind of get where you want them to be that's really re also it's just cool when you drag it around <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like visually to be able to like circle the actual like the actual battleships in the fight is just that's really cool yeah. Uh, so, um, so when that's kind of set up, um, I bring it back into Photoshop, as you can see here, um, and then I add more effects to the ships. So, explosions and debris, um, laser fire, that kind of thing. Uh, from there, uh, what we got? Some atmosphere, some light rays. Um, now these are the drop ships. So again, Jamie designed these. So these are the ships coming into the planet to drop the troops off. Um, so for this, I used a different program called Octane. Uh, so this is the scene file for that. Um, so if I go to this, again, this is Jamie's ship, but I've textured it and, and lit it. So for example, that square below, that's like the meant to mimic explosions from below it. Wow. Um, and again, you can you can flip around the scene, and and the ships are really cool. Like I said, I, I mean, I model ships for my my book covers uh, on a daily basis, but I don't have the the know all the time to do stuff this detailed. So I tend to paint a lot of the details on mine, whereas Jamie models them. So for for scenes like this, you can render them, and you get so much detail. Yeah, I mean that's that's just spectacular so you're you like literally are bringing the books to life <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, I, no exaggeration like if someone wants to kick in on any tier of this kickstarter like they're literally like bringing this book to life in yeah. a visual way in like a badass rotate around 3d yeah. way. um so so kind of on that i know that there's stages to this um type of work um and it's going to take a, a ton of time for you guys to literally build these things from scratch um, based on the visualizations in the, in the book, but, um, it's great to see the rough, um, uh, how the rough relates to the final image, but, um, did anything in particular inspire you with this image? And can you kind of maybe tell us a little bit about, um, to backtrack a little bit, kind of show some of the, um, the rough images to final and kind of just tell us a little bit about that story and then your inspiration overall. Yeah, sure. So I've got, I've got a few more layers here. There's just yeah, some yeah. details painted onto the, yeah, sorry. I think I jumped ahead just a little bit. That's okay. Um, so a few hand painted decals, um, more explosions. So this ship's been hit down here. That's awesome. Uh, and then if I go to the next set, so obviously we need, we need to show the, the jumpers from the back of the ship. Um, so they were painted in. <laughs> yeah. I think you really knocked it out of the park with that one. That looks yeah, <laughs> that looks rad. Um, so obviously Jamie had to model the interior, so I had to kind of use perspective and that kind of thing to, um, <laughs> to show them. That's awesome. Uh, it's more down here. Um, and then we've got, what have we got? 
some some final touches so we've got lighting post process um and then the final so if we look from the first image so that's the rough to the final so it's quite close so i changed the, for the foreground shape a little bit just to get some more detail in yeah wow that was um, amazing but yeah thank you so the um the inspiration really was i looked at a lot of star wars battle scenes um for the lighting and kind of explosions that kind of thing um and obviously the kind of d-day feel of it so that the landing ships are coming into the beach kind of thing um, um yeah so hopefully I've, I've kind of captured that that feel with it yeah very like d-day landing style mm. that that's badass um and then i think maybe you you already went over it a little bit but would you be able to show some of the um process required to paint such a complex battle scene um maybe like some of the layers different steps um maybe that yeah awesome. so i can i can delve in a little bit more so we go to the jumpers where are we so it really does. It really does look so cool. <laughs> uh, so from this bit, I mean, that's kind of hand painted. It's quite fairly rough. Um, and then we've got, where are we? So I painted three rough, rough little soldiers. Um, and then I just copy pasted them. Um, <laughs> more lighting, that kind of thing. Oh, so it's all about building the detail up over. And and obviously this is quite a small section of the painting. So close up, it looks very rough. Um, but when you get further away, um, I mean, it kind of looks quite realistic in that sense compared to the ship. Um, That's amazing. How long does that take you? Um, well, like the whole image was probably around 10 to 15 hours i didn't i didn't time it but obviously jamie saved me a lot of time with the ships mm -hmm. um which obviously i'd normally have to the model and, and do that myself so um with jamie's help um we'll, we'll really be able to to get through the artwork uh, and, and really high quality um designs that that's really awesome um uh jamie do you have anything that you wanted to kind of um add or or kind of your expertise in the space those ships look amazing <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think uh, Tom really did them justice on this. They, um, it's I, I sort of produce my own renders, but they, they tend to be um, more kind of realistic, if you like. Tom's a lot better at, at sort of mood and feel and, and getting the color palette really good in the pictures. Uh, so I think we kind of play off each other's strengths, and it, it works really well in the final results. That, that's it, it looks really does look spectacular. I hadn't seen this image before. So um, <laughs> as, as folks who um, you know, there, there are going to be some uh, readers, um, some people who want to be involved in this, and maybe some strangers. Um, can you guys each kind of give like a, a two cent version of, um, you know, maybe why, why they should support this kind of work and, and your creativity and um, just kind of it, uh, talking to a Kickstarter who is thinking about giving any, any amount of money, um, maybe like a two, two cent version for like why maybe they should do that. Yeah, so I think um, me, me personally, I collect a lot of art books myself um, as inspiration for my work. Um, so if you're a collector of art books or you just like science fiction artwork, um, maybe you don't even know uh, James is, is um, his story yet. So this might be a way to, to get into that because a lot of the scenes we'll be painting will be directly um, from the book itself. So you'll be able to cross-reference each one of them. Um, so if you're a fan of sci-fi, if you're a fan of science fiction artwork, um, I mean, who isn't, who doesn't like Star Wars, um, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I think if, you, if you're into high quality artwork, science fiction, um, then this is the this is the book to get, really. That's that's really great. Um, and then as far as the end deliverable, kind of like they buy the, the fanciest package there is when we build that stuff out. Uh, they basically can, is the final a, a PDF or it's a printed book? I believe it, um, it is potentially gonna be a printed book as long as everything gets fully funded, right? So yeah. in hands, they'll actually be able to flip through this. Is... Yeah, Jamie, if you wanna go through that. Yeah, so there's um, the, an actual art book, a physical book is, is gonna be the main product. 
Um, within that, there will be stretch goals for uh, like special editions of the book. So uh, I think James is anticipating um, some really nice slip cases, um, you know, some, some extra special editions with, with extra pictures in and things like that. And then to support that, some of these ships um, that we're using in here uh, and some of the characters that are going to be in the books, we're actually going to 3D print um, like busts and ships. Uh, so people will be able to get the book, see the ships in the book and actually have a physical copy of that ship as well. So, so that's one of the goals that we're, we're looking at actually, actually getting. That's wait. So you can actually get like an actual like icon and like have it up yeah, on your desk yeah. or your wall. Well, all the ships that I'm creating, um, I'm making with a view to them being able to be 3d printed. Um, so, so that will be one of the stretch goals sort of further down the line. All right. Well, you've got my dollars. <laughs> actually, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, I think that pretty much, um, wraps it up on our end. Um, do you guys have anything else you kind of want to end with? No, just, um, if you, like I said, if you like science fiction, I work, I think you'll be, um, you'll really like this, this product, this book. All right. Well, thank you guys for your talent, both Tom and Jamie. Um, I know James Rosone's like really excited about this. Fans are excited. So please now is your, now is your chance. Jump in there and, uh, hop over and donate a couple bucks on Kickstarter. Thanks everybody. Cheers. Cheers.